Hey guys, it's Meme and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny is here. Welcome to the Tuesday afternoon live show. We have not been with you guys in a while and we have certainly missed you. The crafty sidekick shenanigan. She's over on the other side. So we got a lot of cool things going on today. You don't want to miss this show. It's going to be awesome. Got a great craft and no got craft. a pile of stuff to show you. No craft, no craft today. <laughs> No great crap, just great time and fellowship with your friends that may, may made it. Watch all the viewers are just gonna like we're at two hundred two. They're just gonna be like, "Peace out, bye." Whatever. I'm gone. See ya. <laughs> no. no, we're glad that you're with us today. If you are new, we are may may made it, and we hope that you will click that subscribe button and join the fun, join the community that is may may made it. We'd be honored to have you as a part of that. We have a great time together. We have an online craft store where all the goodies that you see can be purchased. So, May May, since we ain't crafting, what are we doing? Well, we're catching up first. Catching we're just going to catch up first. There's a lot to catch up on. Number one, I want to thank everyone for their prayers. I have felt your prayers about Amen. our loss of Wayne. Um, I want you to know that he had a peaceful uh, transition to his heavenly home. Um I was blessed and got to spend about three hours with him um, the day before um, he went home. And so I had a I had a moment with him that I will never, never trade for our whole life together. That one moment was so precious to me. And it was um, it's what I needed. And I I hope it's what he needed. Um, but as you know, or if you don't know, Wayne, he's my cousin who I grew up with um, since we were born one month apart to the day and we were un we were inseparable um our whole childhood and we were very close to our adult life and when he um battled cancer for four years and he did a beautiful job in his battle and he kept his faith and he kept his smile and he kept his laughter um all the way up to the end he even that was the thing he did for me it was a it was between me and him but it was kind of a joke like it was a thing that um he did for me on his last day here and it was beautiful and um we're honored that Vince has been asked to speak at his service, and that is tomorrow night. So we'll ask for your prayers for traveling mercies as we travel to Mobile. Because of the Easter weekend, it was kind of a delayed situation, which I'm kind of glad of. I'm kind of glad we were able to just pause and then focus on uh, Dwayne. And so that's been that's been grateful. Uh, I've been grateful for that. And uh, we've been kind of reeling. And I know you've noticed we've been gone and like... Some of that has been because of Wayne, like um, a couple of weeks ago on a Tuesday afternoon, right before the show, we got the call. They put him on hospice and I just was in no no place to do a show. And um, then, of course, we were traveling in the middle of that. And so we were at Creativation in New Orleans, which we want to talk about today. And then on the way home, we got the call to come on to Mobile. So that's that's where we've been and what we've been doing. And um, we've been focused on family. We spent a lot of time over Easter just spending time with our kids focusing on and spending time with Vince's parents and being very grateful for that time that we have too. And so um, tomorrow we um, celebrate Dwayne for one last time. Not really. I'll celebrate him the rest of my life because <laughs> I adore him. And um, I'm a little, I'm, I'm grateful for knowing where he is, but I keep thinking, man, he's with all my family that's gone on before. And I'm just like, we'll be there one day, right? We'll be there one day. So I love y'all. And I'm going to try not to cry today. I've been a lot of crying. We'll try not to cry. Um, no promises. There's no crying in crafting, but since we're not crafting, that means I can cry all I want, right? No. So, no, I can't. Um, we're excited to be back, though. Like, I feel like we've been gone for years. <laughs> um, I mean, we were, like, we never had intention of not being on. No. Like, it was never a thing. It was just like, well this happened. So we can't do that. And this happened. And then of course, when we were traveling, I even intended to do a live while we were um, in New Orleans, like a, like our regular live show, but it just was not, not feasible. There was so much for us to do um, and try to squeeze into that little bit of time that we had. And so <coughs> I feel like we've been gone forever. You're probably like, where you, you didn't go anywhere. And that's okay. That's okay. Cause it probably felt like that, but we're glad to be back and we have a lot of stuff we want to go over. Um, I think we're going to announce the winner of our um, embossing machine giveaway today in this show. So hang out for that. I'm looking at all my notes. I want to talk about our make a meal for March. I want to talk to you about Craft Acropolis because that's really the wheels are really going on it now. Um, and I want to talk to you about Creativation. So why don't we start with Creativation? So we all were there. So why don't I just hand the floor over? I mean, let me tell you something about Creativation. 
there's some things we can't discuss because some of it is just, you know, trade secrets and insider stuff and junk like that. But there is some stuff we can. And so uh, we'll share with you some of that. So where do we want to start? Day one. Friday night was, uh, was it Friday night? No. Nope. Sunday, Sunday night. night. Sunday night was, y'all can know that I don't know what day it is today. Um, <laughs> Sunday night was where we started. And I was honored to be asked to be part of a game show in the opening night ceremony, the reception. And um, that was super fun. I got to be on stage with Stacy from Scrapbook and Made Simple. And then two gentlemen that were fine artists that um, I did not know them, but they were very knowledgeable. Like they knew the answers we didn't know. And Stacy knew a lot more than I knew, which was, <laughs> it was like, and I studied for this thing, but um, it was a lot of fun. They put us up on stage and they gave us these iPads and the questions would come up. What we didn't know, what they didn't tell us is we would be competing with the audience as well. So that was kind of a hook. We didn't know that was going to happen. Um, but, you know, Stacy's bigger than life. So we were we were loud and in charge and having a good time. And it was kind of like paper crafters versus fine artists. And it was super fun. So I got to do that the first night. Um, I did not win. I came in 15th, apparently. Like I said, I'm like, how did I come in 15th out of four? Well, because the whole audience played. But then to make me feel better, <laughs> the organization that put it on, you remember what he said to me? The um, His name was David. He came up to me and he said, I said, I can't believe I lost so bad. I was like, 15th and he said well that's not completely accurate he said because the people in the audience that didn't finish their game he's like so we really don't know where anybody ended I said oh so I could have won he said you could have won is what he said. and I said you did win so I won you know why I won because I got on stage in front of a lot of people a lot of people you did good and I did not pass out now she you, was a long like she, she didn't have us with her I was by myself on stage we didn't even go me and the sad thing is like whenever none of those people know me I, none of them people know me so I go to get on stage and the guy in front of me they name him and everybody's like whoa and they're screaming and then they go may may helms I'm like crickets <laughs> Kids, me and Brenda, like, the room was too big to hear my people in the back and then Stacy's crew I got to learn from Stacy y'all I gotta learn her crew had jackets with they were blinged up they had her name on a card they were like yelling for her and I'm like wow I really need to learn from you how to do this. we need to step the, all of us backup players need to step our we, game up. I need to go yeah. okay we need to be we need to be more but it was a lot of fun and um we, so you're saying I get to wear your face on my shirt on a shirt? Well, you get to sometimes anyway. So not so much so. Even yours don't have my don't face know. on them. No. Um, but it was a lot of fun to get to do that. And then that night in the reception, we got to just see everybody. Like, I don't want to, I I'll probably will name names, but I don't want anybody to feel left out if I don't name your name because it's not like that. I'm not going to try to list everybody we ran into. People that I met for the first time, like I met Catherine Pooler in, li in live and in person for the first time. <laughs> um who all did I meet for the first time live and in person? Uh, Catherine, for sure. I got to see uh, Cinnamon. Cinnamon was there. Uh, beautiful uh, as ever. Uh, uh, Horton, Lisa? Lisa Horton met her for the first time. Y'all going to learn a lot about um, her from me. Um, but we had, we had and we and some of our old friends, like we saw Simon. I saw Janine from 49 and Market. We saw all the Sizzix crew. So Eileen. We saw Eileen. Eileen you know, was the, there. The stampbooking.com. We Kiddos. met the folks from scrapbook.com and they were so yeah. incredible. Oh, they were so incredible. We had the most fun with them. Honestly, we just kept running into each other and it was so much fun. I felt like they were like just home folk. If y'all know what that means, like they, if you're not from the South, that just means people we've known forever. Yep. Um, we got to see um, um, Amanda from Pear Blossom. Mm -hmm. I got to do some demos in her booth. I did not do her product justice. I felt very bad. Her product is incredible. I'm not good at it. Um, we got to see the ladies from, um, Katie Sue. We got to see, can, you, so do full, can you go full screen on our faces instead of showing the, well, I'm going to show, we're fixing to do this in a second. Okay. We are going to show some stuff. And, um, we saw Aaron actually, I did not see Aaron at a glance. I actually saw Aaron a lot, Aaron a lot. Was everywhere. Y'all, if you want to see what creativation is like, go watch Aaron Reed. Her channel is Aaron Reed. She was everywhere she demoed in like five different booths she filmed everywhere she even had her partner with not her cohort with her who was filming for her everywhere beautiful her red hair was so pretty and she filmed everything everywhere she still has stuff coming out so go watch that um i'm trying to like play myself around there and we got to see the folks from crafters companion we got to see uh go around the, the room where were we at here we saw katie sue katie we sue. saw so many people it was so much everybody. there's eileen 
um, we really got to see a lot of folks. It was a lot of fun. And some people we some people we met before, we just got to see, oh, the people from Picket Fence, which I'm super excited about that. There's some cool stuff happening there. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, so yes. there's that. Now, what did we see at Creativation? Eileen. Uh, Eileen. All the way home, we're talking about the things we saw that we really loved. And I got to be honest, I, I didn't see any one standout. I'm going to say this. I didn't see a standout Holy Cow product. I saw a lot of great things right? Like there was not one thing that I'm like, if I don't get anything but that, I would be sad. But there were a lot of great, great products that I was happy with because because what makes me happy about that is there were not a lot of things that are huge price points, which I'm real happy about because that means you won't be like, I can't afford that cool new thing. Actually, you're going to see a lot of stuff across the board that is use, useful and makes sense and none of it's going to break the bank. Would you agree with all that? Yes. Nothing yeah. we found was like, you know, last year we found for the first time the um, Crafter's Companion, the Gemini 2. And although I love mine, it was expensive, right? And it was for me last year, I think it was my pick of the show. Was it? No, the stamp wheel maybe was my pick of the show. Can't remember. But this year we saw some really cool things that are coming and some really cool ways people are doing things. One thing I'm really loving about what people are doing is being integrated, like, their products are working well together, they're playing well together, right? Um, we got to watch Eileen do, since Eileen's here, we got to watch her do um, some cool stuff in Jacquard. We got to um, watch Eileen use her box die, her new big box die. Um, incredible, love it, already ordered it, it's already on the way because I saw 90 million things we can do with it. That's a die. Like Eileen says she likes for her dies to do three things. Well, this one will do literally 90 million. Write it down. 90 million. Um, what else? Um, Somebody said they were surprised Stacy had her own booth. I really wasn't. And let me tell you why. She's doing a lot of licensed things. She's working with other people. And now she has, um, Stacy Park. Is it creative? Eileen might remember Stacy Park. I can't remember. Like she's, she's kind of created a whole separate licensed line that she's working on you know she's working with Sizzix and she's doing some really cool stuff there i really wasn't surprised at that because of how much she had come out this time um but that was a good point eileen lots of collabs so many collabs which was so cool hey, mama, did you order anything from uniquely created oh, yes we did okay so here's the deal about uniquely created what i'm really excited about first off they're amazing people because our first order had an issue in it like a significant dollar amount issue that was not their fault. And they are going to work that out for us. Like when I walked to her booth, the first thing she said to me was, I got you taken care of. And I'm like, but I don't think it's your fault. And she's like, it's no one's fault, but I'm taking care of it. It was super nice. They are awesome. And we've already placed, um, we are in the process of placing our next order with them because we wanted to get that worked out first. Great people. Like craft people are great people. Y'all crafting people are great people. We had a lot of fun. What else are you guys saying to remind me? Um, is it Stacy Park Designs? Maybe. Maybe that's it. Wow is all that needs to be said. Yes, wow. Loved their accents. Accents oh, were some of the best things. So many ever. accents at this one. So many accents. I love it. We even, um, who did I meet that had a Welsh accent? I missed it. Miriam. Okay. Lisa yes. Horton. Miriam was in her booth with her and they were talking and I'm like, I know your accent. I know your accent. And I missed it. It Aaron was Welsh. Is here. Hey, Aaron, I was just bragging about you. Um, I'm telling y'all the truth. If you want to know what happens at Creativation, go watch Aaron's channel. That's the spot. She has sure. filmed. I don't even know how she, I told her, I'm like, when do you sleep? I don't think she does sleep. I really don't. Um, and she demoed in what? Five booths, Aaron? Were you in five different booths? 90 billion. 90 billion booths. A bunch. Um, that's how many, that's how many steps we took y'all. 90 billion. <laughs> we had, let me say this. We, so our hotel that we said at the embassy suites, is that right? Embassy that suites. Correct. Correct. We were two blocks. This is what's so funny. We're in like, we showed Amber this. We're two blocks from the convention center. Not far at all. Right. But the convention center was 12 blocks long. <laughs> so, so you get into the we're like oh this is great we can get to the day, convention center no problem like, this is gonna be great we walk in and they're like okay you need to go to hall f well, hall a. f <laughs> it started at a and hall f was a long way off so um we did do a lot of walking but that was fine we yeah, we got we needed that. it it didn't hurt anybody um we enjoyed the scenery we had we went to i know you all know where we had dinner because we love to talk about food so night number one we ate in our hotel which honestly wasn't the worst thing that could happen to us we were tired 
exhausted we and we just ate in the hotel. We were night. grumpy and we had a hard we day. Had a hard day. So we ate in the hotel. Then night number two, we went to night number two, we went Monday to night. the, oh, the restaurant there. Craft Tavern. Craft Tavern. Yeah. 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 The place the place with the photos. Uh-huh. Yes, I yes. Do. Okay, so we went to- <laughs> don't don't uh, we don't have restaurant recommendations. For you. We're not doing recommendations tonight. What I'm we telling you, today, don't eat. We went there. Um, here, if we're gonna keep talking, I'll do this. I don't know if I really can. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. That's better. So we went to Craft Tavern, but I will tell you, although the rest of us were not like, oh, my food is fantastic. Noah gave the chicken fingers ten out of ten. Yeah. So he said they were the best. They, he said they so were the best. So much so that they went back there the next day and ate lunch. And got chicken fingers again. So there's that. Um, but <laughs> Shannon ordered brick chicken, which we've heard of this before. Like it was I've had it chicken before. under a brick. I've had it before. And it was served on a bed of potatoes. Well, you know, we're Southerners and we like our potatoes, if you can't tell by looking at us. And they were faux. But what was so funny is I said, Shannon, they didn't tell you that. And they should have because it should have been spelled, you know, French. What? It, how would it have been? F-E-A-U-X. F-E-A-U-X. Or how, yeah. like that. So we've laughed about faux potatoes ever since. Yeah. <clears throat> then that night we were on the way back. We were walking back to the hotel and we saw Emerald's place. Right. Um, not not his place called. Is, doesn't he have a place called Nola? Anyway, not that, but actually Emerald's place. So we're like, we want to go there, right? You know me and Brenda. So we're like, let's do it. We're we're literally a block down from it, right? So we start looking at their menu and the tasting menu had nothing Vince would taste, like nothing. Now, Brenda and I would have done it and Vince was going to let us go by ourselves, but I'm like, no, that's okay. So instead, the next night, Shannon found a place called Katie's, which had been featured on Diners, Drive-In and Dives. So we went there, super fun, great food. We all enjoyed our food. Um, Noah had... Noah had pepperoni pizza with no cheese and no pepperoni. That's what he had. I don't know why his likes. menu gets He had me. crust. He had crust he with tomato crust sauce. And, sauce. and then what I love is uh, if you didn't see our story, which is gone, if you didn't see our story, Brenda decided to do Noah's crossword puzzle. And that in itself was the best entertainment we'd have the whole week. I cried. Her trying to do that I kid's crossword puzzle was the funniest thing. She was exhausted. Brenda was exhausted. Because listen, if you don't know Brenda, she is on, 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 right? She is always high energy. Well, she was done. And trying to do that crossword was too funny. So we did that. What else? What else happened? What was fun? Um, um I don't remember. We, we did both days on the floor. And I mean, we visited Every no, we did not. So we had 50 some odd booths. Okay. And I'm gonna guess we did about 20, 25 of them. Ish, yeah. It, we couldn't get through all of it. We could not some of them. Get well, and some of them we just kind of went by the name as it might be something we want to see, and it wound up not being stuff that we really needed to see. Eileen said I was so. everywhere. We tried to be so last year we learned our lesson. You cannot start here. And just go down the thing. You can't. We tried to go to the places, bless you. We tried to go to the places that we wanted to go to. And we still couldn't get through all of them. But we did get to the ones that we knew we had to get to. So yes. there will be some fun stuff coming. We got to order a bunch of stuff. We we made a lot of connections. So we have a lot of stuff coming in the future that I'm excited about. We made some really good connections. Yep. Um, and I was busy passing out my Stop Collaborate With Me card. So, you know, we have a collaboration coming up with Eileen. And it's actually April 11th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Eileen and I are going to challenge each other to use her die, her one of her dies. It's her mini book die. Make sure I'm saying everything right, Eileen. The mini book die. We're going to challenge each other um, to turn it into something else. I don't want to say yet. Y'all got to come watch. And we're Eileen, were we doing that? We're doing, it'll be on a Tuesday afternoon, the 11th, right? I got my calendar. No, it's Thursday. Thursday. We'll be doing half of it on Eileen's channel earlier in the day at like 4 p.m. Eastern, I believe it is. Then we're going to do the other half on my channel that night. So we get two times to work it out. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, There are lots of Vinny sightings in your videos. Were there? I didn't even know. Yeah, a lot have said they've seen me, Vinny, and Brenda in there in videos. We were, we were all over the place. We really were. But one of the reasons is because we go, oh, this boost on our list and we head there. You know, so four Eastern on Eileen's channel, seven Central. No, six Central, four Eastern, six Central. No. That's going to be confusing for y'all. We'll be on her channel, four Eastern. 
three o'clock my time, four o'clock her time. And then your channel at six. Is yes. That what you're saying? So it'll be I seven o'clock her time, six o'clock my time. Uh, did I evade the camera? Are you serious, Aaron? I'm shocked by that. I'm kind of glad because I probably have my serious face on. <laughs> my serious face is not the best face. That is so funny that I did not get on your camera. That well, anytime I saw you, I probably was behind you. <laughs> anyway, that's Duh, fun. there's Aaron. What else about creative Asian? It's super fun, know. super fun. I enjoyed every minute of it. Um, Maybe I did get a haircut. I did get a haircut. I did not enjoy the the bridges as much as Vince wanted me to enjoy the bridges on the way down there. Did not. Well, we went, we went across the short one too, so you didn't have to suffer too bad. We went over every possible bridge you could go over. He had me warned about the bridge, so he's like, we're going to go over this bridge and we're not going to be able to stop. And so I'm like, here's what I need you to do. Just don't tell me when we're there. So I turned around and started talking to Brenda. We just talked to each other. She taught me straight over that bridge. I wanted to try and video the when we drove over the graded part of the bridge because Meme doesn't like grates and she doesn't like you to walk over grates. So I was going to Why do try. people walk over grates? Well, you have to drive over it to get over the bridge. Why? Why should we have to do that? Don't walk over a manhole. You don't know. I'm like, that's so, when they do it to me. I'm like, that's real cute. It worked this time. It worked this time. What if it doesn't? And all we know is we're like, Shannon. <laughs> So I make it a point when I go places and I have to walk over precarious looking things to take a picture and send it to her. So I did that in Mobile over the um, at the battleship. Aaron said Eileen was busy. Everything. Let me tell you something. Eileen demoed it. How many boosts did you demo in Eileen? She, I literally thought to myself, how does she get to take a break? Like, sometimes I'm like, I'm sad I don't get to demo for people. But I had to demo one booth this time. And staying on my schedule was hard. Like, I only had to be there at 2 o'clock, two days. And it was still hard. I can't imagine how y'all do it. Um, I hate those grays, Terrence. Nobody should step on them. Nobody should. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to say that's creativation talk, unless y'all have something else. Did I forget anything? It was fun. It was fun. I love seeing fun. all the stuff. I love seeing everybody's passion for their products. I love seeing people that love what we do in the same place. You know what I'm saying? I love being around people that just get it. Like we get the paper part. We get it. Right. Um, so I do want to say a shout out to those watching on Facebook. Thanks for hanging out with us through the magic of technology. We're able to broadcast in two places at one time. So we're glad that you're with us on Facebook. So thanks for joining. The next thing on my list I wanted to talk about was Easter. How was your Easter? We had a fantastic Easter I have it on my list. Um, Simon is all grown up. Oh, Karen, he is the cutest thing. One day he had on, he's going to crack up that I'm going to talk about this. But he had on a shirt that was like a crochet. It was like made of granny squares, but it was not bright colors. It was like muted colors. It was the cutest shirt. And I'm like, Simon. That shirt, he's like, I'm going to tell you something. I should bring this shirt out with my name on it because we could sell it like crazy. He's like, everybody has stopped him about that shirt. It was awesome. Um, when is Art Glitter Glue going to be releasing for the public? Is it now? Should be getting so soon, yeah. If you want it, if you need we it right have now, some, you can We call have some us. temperatures this week that's going to be below 40 at night. So, um, but hopefully soon. Reagan, Sedona is the, one of the most beautiful places I've ever Matthew seen. said, I loved that sweater he wore. Wasn't it beautiful? Did y'all get to see it? Oh, yeah. He, I guess I missed it. He was filmed. He was doing lives and people were, I bet Aaron's got him. Aaron, did you get him in that cool sweater? It was so I'll cool. I'll watch your show, Aaron. Um, okay, so that, our Easter was a lot of fun. The family came over. Shannon, you had a good Easter? Yes, yes. We had family down from Arkansas Friday, so I got to see cousin and uncle, and it was just a fun time. Fun, fun time. I told somebody at Creative Asians this weekend how much we love Art Glitter Glue. And I said, you don't understand. We literally had shirts made that said, it's Art Glitter Glue season. Like, we need to have those remade because that was a lot of fun. We do because I don't have one. Eileen, if you missed it, go see what he was wearing on Aaron's video. <laughs> see if he had it on because it was incredible. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is our make and mail for March. I'm going to talk about that real quick. And then we're going to talk about the giveaway. Um, we did... And I'm actually going to share this with you really quick. It'll be messy for a second. Don't stress. We'll get it all worked out. I'm going to share this for you. I'm going to share this for you guys. Yeah. Our making mail, if you're not familiar, we do something called making mail in our club, in the Made It Club. And it's not something, the making mail videos do not go public on YouTube. They're only in the club. That's something you do have to be a member of the club for to be a part of or be a member of the club to be a part of. So if you're in the club, you would have seen me talk about sendasmiletoday.org. 
every month I'm challenging you to a different service project or to a different project for someone in particular. This, last month we did my ministry, my card ministry. This month we're doing send a smile dot send a smile today dot org. What I love about them, and if you join the club, you would have seen this, and some of you guys may have missed it. Okay. What I love about them is they do two things. Number one, on their website here, you can, if you are a cancer patient who would like to receive a card, you can sign up yourself or you can sign someone else up. So if you know someone who's going through cancer treatment or dealing with cancer in any way, you can sign them up to receive a card and they monthly get a mail out just to keep a smile on their face. And the beautiful part of it is their cards are handmade by you and then are by all card makers. And then they're sent out to the patients who need a smile. Okay. So if you did not catch that, please, 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 Go join the club. You can do that at maymayevents.com. Join the club. And then on the club portal page, you'll see where I did a full video explaining this. One thing I want to mention is this. I know it is confusing. They only accept A9 envelopes, but that does not mean they only accept A9 cards. A9 is bigger than A2. So if you make your A2 cards, you're fine. What um, Kim told me was as long as they fit in the A9 envelope, you're fine. Now, there are some other rules and things you need to follow, but I did the full video showing you that, and you can find that all on their page here, okay? Um, yes, Amy said, we can't mention anything religious. Does that include praying for them? Yes, but let me explain that to you. That does not hurt my feelings. I know some, some people think if we can't mention religion, it hurts, hurts our feelings or, or whatever. Here's why it doesn't, because we don't know the religion of every person that's getting these cards. And here's what I know. When you pray over a card, and you send it out, there's still a religion mentioned. You see what I'm saying? God's going to work with that card. So pray over your cards, even though you don't mention anything religious or you don't mention praying for you or anything about God, pray over your cards and send them. God will still do a work with that. Okay. But that's going to happen a lot with some of our service projects because they give to the general public. And we just want to share a smile and tell people we love them. Right. That's right. Um, and God will bless you for that too. Um, okay. Somebody said, can we find... If you know an organization you would like for me to work with during our service projects, email Shannon that information. OK, here's the thing. I'm going to vet them. I'm going to look into them and read them like this program. I read about it. I made sure I knew who they were and what they were doing exactly. So if you'll send that to us, if there's an organization we can use, I just go out there and search is how I find people. So I think their mention was suffering from mental illness. I would love for us to find an organization like that. And sometimes we might even find just local organizations we can work with, just people that tell us they need cards and we can do that too. But for this month, here's what I would like you to do. Okay. Send as many cards as you can, but even more than that, sign people up for cards. When I spoke to Kim about it, she said it would be amazing if you could mention to your made it that we also want people to sign up to receive cards because, you know, sometimes there can be a lull. If they're not mentioning it, people can, you know, get healed and don't need cards anymore. And then there's kind of a lull for who they need to send cards to. So make sure you're signing up if you need to get a card every month or you're signing people up, you know, that would benefit from having a card every month. So um, there's that. Now I'm going to try to get this off the screen. So let me say this to you. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that there's 771 people watching mm -hmm. 771 but there's only and i say only 338 thumbs up what so slackers i'm gonna need some help y'all somebody kim, needs to go vinny the video kim is correct give a us a nine, thumbs up a nine is five and three quarter by eight and three quarter you know it's the bigger it's like for five by seven cards it's the bigger envelope actually i think an a7 is a five by seven but anyway if it fits in there you're good if you have questions about this project you can reach out to tamitha she has been kind of the the leader of this like i sent all this information to her she wrote the blog post she knows all that so if you have questions just reach out to tamitha and if she can't answer them she can then find um she can find the answer for you also they don't necessarily ask for the envelopes. If you want to send the envelopes, that's great. Those are the only size they do accept, but they do want your cards. And also, she already the day, the first day we did the project, Kim reached out and said, Wow, they are they are coming over and signing up and they are very excited. And I was like, Yep, I told you they do good stuff. Our, our maids right. do good stuff. They do good work. Good job, guys. 
Okay. Oh, Eileen said, I did it right away, Vinny. I'm so proud. Thanks, Eileen. Lots you of you like said you see. did it right away, and I'm grateful. That was just a courtesy reminder for those that might have missed it. Like, Let's give something away. Let me. Let's give this away. Not exactly this, and we're going to give one away. Hold on. <laughs> Let's get to the front side. Let's give this away. The reason I said not this one, because this is mine, and I was going to unbox it with you guys so that you can see what the winner's going to get. How could you enter to win this? Well, all you had to do was make bunny cards, remember? I challenge you to make bunny cards using kind of the technique that I showed you in a live show about three and a half weeks ago. <laughs> um, and you guys entered. We had 289 entries. 289 entries and we do have a winner i don't want to say her name just yet we do have a winner and i want to tell you this we chose her randomly what we did what tamitha does is she takes all the entries assigns them a number uses random.org picks them the number came through and the person's name who coordinated with the number is the one who won and this is what they won okay so today is the day we're giving away you had until uh easter to enter and did y'all enjoy that do y'all want to do more of that I love giving stuff away. You want to do another one? Vinny loves giving stuff away. That's right. It's like his favorite thing to do. So I went back and checked, and you guys responded in a positive way. We now have 790 people watching, and we went all the way to 521 thumbs up from 338. So a lot of y'all got on the ball, and I'm very grateful. I'm grateful they didn't respond in a negative way. I'm grateful they didn't. I mean, you know, I love that you said, and you responded in a positive way. I love right. that. I got on the stick. Can I show y'all what I like about this guy? First off, he's black. Okay, May May loves black tools. I just do. I'm I'm not a pink girl or whatever, and that's okay. I can use a tool if it's pink. It's not a big deal. But this is this is me, and let me just show y'all. Um, is that better now that I got the box out of the way? I think y'all can see it now. Somebody said zoom out, but I think this helps, right? We lost Shannon. Yeah. Shut up. I'm still here. My computer just froze up. I'll be back. I love when we, I don't love when we lose Shannon, but when we lose Shannon, I love when y'all start she screaming. She loves when she loses. Shut up. Look, I love when they're all, shut up. Shut up. All right, check this out. This guy opens like this, but I want to show you a trick. Oh, I need to fix that too. Okay, I'll show that in a second. So this opens like this. But if you notice, if you, we have some of these, by the way, in store, I think. Do we? I think we do. I don't. I think she said some came in. I don't think very many, but we got some. So if you get this at home, there's this little lock with an arrow. You push this in to lock the platform. Okay. So you want to do that. And then what I love right here on the side, you see that little button. You push that button and it lays your handle down. Look, come on, you guys. I love this. And then the other thing I love, look at this. Here's your sandwiches. Look how easy your sandwich, your plates. Look. I like sandwiches. One, two, three, four. That's it. Love it. Now, it's not extended plates. These are just a regular size that come with it. But I love it. And it's called the Fold Away. And I think this is Tim Holtz, right? That's why it's black. Let me see. Is this his? Isn't his name on here somewhere? Have I been giving him? No, it's his. Oh, there it is. It's Have right I been giving him credit? It's right in front of Sizzix. It's right in front of It is. So anyway, this is, um, it's got Tim's name on it. And I love it. And also what I love about it, let me show you this. These open like this. So they're storage. Look at that. Pretty big storage too. And both of them do it. So anyway, I love it. Um, I love how it has directions. Yes. Um, directions on the platforms, on the platform right here. Matter of fact, you've got directions here and here. Um, but I love that it was, I just love this color. Okay. Y'all know me. Y'all know. So anyway, we have this in store now and this is what we're giving away to a lucky winner. Are you ready for her name? Shannon's going to announce it. After I should have given her some warning. Look at these feet. Let me throw his feet. Y'all want me to go slower? I mean, I can. Are you just doing it for effect? I mean, now I am. I did finally get it pulled up. <laughs> All right. Our winner out of the 289 entries is Cynthia Hafner. Congratulations, Cynthia. If you're watching, tell us you're here. And if you're not, tell me later that you found out that you won. Um, we will reach out to you by email so we can get your mailing address. Look at this. Though. This guy is so neat. And look how little. Like, let me just give you measurements. She's here. Yay. You won. Yay. Good job. And all you had to do was enter your bunny card. I hope you enjoyed making your bunny card. 
Y'all, this guy's like eight and a half tall. And I'm not going to include the handle because that because we can do the handle like this. We can close it down. So we'll go. And it's all, less than 11 wide. That's not even like a piece of cardstock. I love this guy. Love this guy. All right. So if you want those, they're in store. And congratulations, Cindy. Congratulations. Okay. We do have some. I do have some across the miles to show y'all. I have so much. Don't go anywhere. We have a lot to tell you today, okay? You got to see this across the miles. And, and we're excited because we get to eat it now. This That's the only reason this across the miles. There's other across the miles, but this one has to be eaten before it spoils. To be honest, and we've been eating. Last Thursday, um, was it Thursday? It was Thursday. No. Yeah. It was Thursday. Yeah, it was Thursday. Last Thursday, Mary Riley came to visit. Mary is our friend from Florida. She comes up about three or four times a year. She comes up pretty good bit. And she was here. And she always brings me some sort of really cool weenie dog something. Like, she's always treating us to something. And she came up last week. And she was like, I can't wait for the live show tonight. And we couldn't either. Like, we couldn't wait. But I don't remember what happened Thursday to keep us off. Whiny passed. Whiny passed away. Was it Thursday? <sighs> You guys, I thought it was the Tuesday, but it wasn't. It was Thursday, wasn't no, it? Because today's Tuesday. So that's exactly right. We're talking, <laughs> that's right. We're talking to Mary. And then she was like, I can't wait to see what y'all do tonight. And we're like, we can't either because we're not really sure yet. And we were just, you know, and then we got the call about Wayne. So everything changed that day. So, Mary, if you're wondering what we've been waiting on, it's been a live show. And that's why we're doing this on Tuesday instead of Thursday. Have I got days right yet? You're mm -hmm. good. Okay. So look at this. I'm in love with this. Cracker holder. That's what I'm going to call it. A cracker holder. And the reason I'm calling it a cracker holder. It's because she made. I got to show you all these. She made these for me. And I'm just convinced that she made them to go in here. Right. I'm convinced. And she just said for her. But she ain't getting to keep them. They're for me. Anyway. Yeah. These crackers. Here's how. Here's why they're for me. Because she said to me, "Do not worry. I did not touch them." She's like, "I opened the sleeves and poured them in the thing and never touched them." And so, <laughs> anyway, we got this whole thing of crackers, which are so good. We've been eating them all day today. I'm just gonna be honest with you. We've been eating them already. And then this. Just wait, you guys. Just wait. Can I untie this? Did you tie this? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Because I wrapped them all together, so you could just open it, and then they were. You guys. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. You think you know what they are. I'm going to take them off screen. Look at these. Are you kidding me? How do you guys find this stuff? I don't even know. And Mary always finds the cutest stuff. Are these the cutest thing you've ever seen? She commented, my mother, for everyone. Mary, that's not... That's not fair. No, we're, we're all sharing them. Y'all know what I've got to do. I've got to get a little stand where I can hang these individually. You know what I'm saying? How stinking cute. And at one point in time, we had four wings at one time. One time Who would have been the tablespoon? Who would have been the tablespoon? Carly? Yeah. She big dog. Then Carly. You Your will love dog. this. Y'all will love this. We have been acclimating. You'll be proud of us. We've been acclimating Bean and the wings together. Here's what happened. When we went to Creativation, we put Bean with a dog trainer, a local dog trainer, who, by the way, if you were wondering about doggy daycare during um, Craft Acropolis, her name is Tyler, and she said yes. So if you reach out, which I have someone to send the information to already. We have one person who's uh, messaged us. If you reach out, we can give you Tyler's information, and she can work with your dogs while you're here, or at least until she's booked up, okay? So I've got that. But anyway, while we um, were gone, when I came back, I said, okay, Tyler, I want you to work with Bean on getting her acclimated with my weenie dogs. And she said, what do you mean? I said, well, they can't really be together because they want to play and they're not equally sized. And she said, Bean was fantastic with the puppies here this week. And I was like, really? She's like, yeah. She said, she'd just lay down and they would play on her and she didn't care. And I'm like, then maybe we should try. She's like, I think you should try. So went home. And we started acclimating them. I have a little video I need to share it because they're very funny. <clears throat> but we started acclimating them. And here's how it goes. Okay. Here's how, and I knew this is how it would go. Presley wants to play with her. But the problem is Presley has arms this long. Okay. Bean has arms longer than my screen will show you. So when Presley does the little whoop like this and Bean does the whoop, 
Presley goes five feet across the floor. Right? So we're having to get them used to not doing that kind of play. And they're doing pretty good because what Presley will do is get under the table and play with her with the table as protection. Carly is not interested. She does not care. The problem is Darcy. Darcy is miserable with other dogs, not just Bean. She oh, does no, not she don't like any of the other weenie dogs either. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Lizzie was I, the only one she liked. She liked Lizzie. Vince and I had a real conversation this weekend, and I said, do you think we need to find her a one-owner, no-dog home? Because she's so stressed out. You can't know. Here's, here's an example. This morning, Bean and Presley were outside, and Carly were outside on the porch with me. And I couldn't find Darcy. And I asked you, I said, is she downstairs with you? She wasn't with you. Nope. I couldn't find her in any bedroom. And I went, look, and she was hiding in Carly's kennel, not even her kennel. And I'm like, this poor dog is miserable. She is miserable. And I don't know if it, I don't know if it's because Lizzie's gone and Lizzie was kind of her buffer, but she has gotten miserable. And we were talking this weekend. I'm like, I feel like I'm doing her a disservice because I think she could blossom. This doesn't make sense. I feel guilty about it because I find her hiding or she'll scream like nobody even gets near her. And she's no dog is near her and she will scream of fear that they will look at her. I've never seen anything like it. Um, I feel very sorry for her. So. I don't know. I'm, I, we're really thinking about what to do for her because I think she's miserable. But Bean and Presley seem to be doing OK. And Carly could care less. Carly is living her life. She's not going to play with you. She, I mean, Carly is fine, which is funny because and she is the big dog. I said all this to tell you that. So Presley, so last night was the biggest night of all dogs. Don't worry, Darcy was inside. We just opened the door and let Darcy go in. She just goes inside. But I hate that too, because then she's by herself, but she just goes Apparently inside. she likes it. <laughs> no, because. She really does. She doesn't want to be alone. Darcy doesn't want to be alone. She wants to be in your lap. She wants to be in your lap. So putting her inside makes me feel guilty too. I need a baby carrier. And just wrap her up on me, just wear her. But we're outside, and so here comes Josh with his two dogs, and here comes Thomas with his with one of his dogs. So there's four big dogs in the backyard. Well, Presley's gotten real brave. This is so funny to me. Presley's real brave, right? And so here these dogs go. They're all up on the porch, and they all go down. And here goes Presley behind them. And I said, Presley, I'm just going to tell you something. If you can't run with the big dogs, you need to stay on the porch like that. And Thomas got tickled and he said, she'll be back in a second. And sure enough, when they started being big dogs here, she comes on the porch. But she's doing really good. Darcy is not. She's just not doing well with it. She is. I don't know. I feel sorry for her. And then. Even and it'd be but different. She's, she's a precious she's dog. Precious. It'd be different if even if it was just her and Darcy and Carly, but she's even doing it then. Like she's just. She's unhappy. And I don't like that because we don't do unhappy dogs. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's exactly what we said. I think it's my my Andra. Is that your name? My Andra? That's a beautiful name. She said Darcy would be ideal for a retired person or a couple who can pay her lots of love and attention. That is exactly the truth. <clears throat> Darcy is six. Five or six. Five or six. We can we can know for sure, but she's five or six. But she would be perfect for one person, but I don't, but that's a thing. I'm back. Maybe. Oh, she's back. I'm back. Maybe. I'm back. <clears throat> so anyway, I guess maybe, I don't know. Well, see her and, and Lizzie were almost puppies together. Yeah. They're only she, a year like a year apart. apart. And so they played together constantly. So, I mean, she may be mourning, uh, I don't, know not if being it, there. I don't but, know if it's that because but she she has always been. I want to be by myself for the most she part. She is always even when they played as she as Darcy got older, she would distance herself and you'd see all the other dogs running together and Darcy be off by herself or for a little while. She got to stay with Josh because we we were we struggled with this with Darcy for a long time. For a little while, she got to go stay with Josh and she loved it. She was by herself. It was just her, Josh, Taylor. They spoiled her rotten and she loved it. But Josh said he wanted a big dog, which I knew that was going to happen. He was, They just wanted to see what it was like to have a dog, like with their work schedule and stuff before they got one to make sure they could. And I'm like, please give Darcy a vacation. Just let her have a break from here. And she did good, but I just worry about her because she's just miserable. She's just, she's just feel sad to me and I don't like it. So anyway. Somebody asked what kind of dog Bean is. Bean is a Brock Francais. Or a French pointer. I like the way Vince says it. 
they do anxiety meds for dogs, but I also don't want her to be on meds for it. Here's another thing about Darcy. She does medicines fine. Like she had some allergies for a while that cleared up, like was a weird thing. And she had to take medicine and I just felt sorry. I don't know. I feel sorry for her. She's a sweetheart. Do I have a picture of all of them? I don't think so. All right. Let me keep going a little well, bit. I probably have one. So, um, let's talk about Craft Acropolis real quick because I'm excited we have the classes now. Okay. You're going to see them going up on the website. We'll have them officially on the website for you to learn more about the classes. But we all know, <laughs> Sandy said speak French to me. We all know what we're teaching. So if you don't know what Craft Acropolis is, does he, do you want to talk about it? Well, Craft Acropolis is a lot of fun. I'll tell you that. It's uh, where you can come and rent a table and you can sit at that table and just craft your heart out whatever project you want to make um you get to meet a lot of other people that are there doing the same thing now some people they don't want to be real social and they just want to do their thing but a lot of people it's a, a time for you to connect with other crafters other people that are like-minded see great cool ideas that people are making um i mean it's just a great time and we like it because we're not near as busy as we used to be when we would have a big event with lots of classes. So we get to hang out with you guys. We get to sit around and talk and, and visit. And that's real special for us, too. Also, we have classes available. So if you come and you crop and you're like, I don't really know what to do, you can take the classes. And that gives you something to do the whole time you're there. Now, at our Craft Acropolis, because I became friends with Penny, our local sewing store owner and sewing teacher, quilting teacher, um, and I've taken up quilting, we decided to add her in to our Craft Acropolis so we could have multiple kinds of classes for people, right? So if you come to my Craft Acropolis, you have options. You can do the whole kit and caboodle. You can do paper crafting. You can do sewing. You can do everything we offer, the table and everything. Or you can come and just do paper crafting or you can come and just do sewing, whichever one you want to do. Now, I will tell you, the just sewing classes are smaller, like if meaning if you want to get into those, I can't put as many students in those classes. So you got to buy that one quick because it'll sell out quick. OK, um, I think she can only fit, what, 26 students in a class. I think okay, so. and that's the wrong link where we can do. Um, how do you know? Oh, well, because Scrap Acropolis is oh. over. Yeah. Um, Silver Green. I don't know how she does with cats. I don't know. She's never, I don't think she's ever even seen a cat except maybe at the vet. So I really don't know. Um, so here's the deal. If you want only fabric classes, jump in. Let me tell you what Penny's teaching. This is what she's decided on. And I love this. She's going to do a quilted bag. So she said, this is like a carry bag where you can put like your scissors or your rotary cutters and things in it, but it will teach you how to make the bag that you can then size up and make later. You can make it in whatever size you want after that. So she has the quilted bag. She's doing Quilting Essentials 2.0, but she also said it's 2.0 because if you took our Quilting Essentials before, this is going to carry on to that. But if you've never taken Quilted Essentials, this is not going to be ahead of you. Like if you're a beginner, it's fine. She's going to talk in a way that it works for everybody, but you're going to get more information than you did the last time. OK, so it's a good it's a good follow up if you took it last time. And if you've never taken it, don't miss out if you're wondering about quilting. Then the third thing she's going to do might be my favorite. And she's doing the bowl cozy. If y'all have seen the bowl cozies, they are so fun and they're pretty easy to make. But what's cool about it is once you make one, you'll be like, oh, I can make this for every single thing in the house. If it sits, I can size it up and make it. So that's the bowl cozy class. Not to mention she does a big room quilt. So she does a quilt where you make the quilt top during Craft Acropolis. When you come in, she gives you step by step for the days. And by the time the event is over with, you'll have your quilt top done. OK, and in the past, we haven't talked about this, but in the past, she'll usually just let you pick um, like your layer cake or whatever she's going to use. She'll have a couple options for you. And last year she had two pattern options for you. So you could do whichever one you wanted to do. And she may do that this year as well. I do not know. <clears throat> OK, now I'm excited about my project. I've never done it before. and I think it's going to be amazing. We've picked out the paper. We're pretty, we know we've got the paper, right? I'm happy with the paper. Yeah, we picked out the paper. paper. I'm going to do an as many as y'all been begging. We're going to do an as many as, but I'm doing it different. Instead of an as many as cards and making 200 cards or an as many as whatever, I'm going to take a paper pack in this class and I'm going to, to design for you a way to use all that paper, making at least three projects. Okay. 
We're going to make a folio. We're going to make some number of cards and we're going to make a third project, tags, bookmarks, maybe treat boxes, something else from one pack of paper. So what basically what I want to show you in this class is how to dissect a pack, pack of paper and get every single inch out of it. OK, um, I think it's going to be super fun. I'm going to do everything in my power to bring you a new design folio that we haven't done before, but y'all know we've done a lot of folios because, you know, the whole year of folios thing, but I will mix and play around and bring you some new stuff. Matter of fact, I saw something the other day that I did years ago and Shannon are like, we need to do this. We need to add this in. So we may bring that in, but that's going to be a fun one because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have printables for you because we want to get the majority, the biggest project done in class. And then you'll have the smaller instructions for us to do while you're on the floor. And I can walk around and help you with that as you go. But we should be able to get all the instruction done in class for you just to go finish your paper pack on the crop floor. So there's that. I'm excited about Brenda's. OK, listen, at Creativation, we found Brenda's project. She is bringing you a linen and lace storage box or trinket box. You can use it for what you want to. It could be a jewelry box, a recipe box. Um, it could be anything you want. It's a wooden box with this really pretty hangover, um, like closure on the front. It's really pretty. And did this one have the slider? I think it has the slider in it. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it does. But she was so excited about that box when she found it. I think this one. Did. We'll have to look and see. I can't remember. Craft Acropolis is an in-person event, in -person. and it is only an in-person event. There will be another online event um, in the fall. August. So. Yes. Yeah, you're going to love this box. It's really cute, and she's going to have a lot of fun with it. She's already telling me her ideas for it, so that'll be her class. And then, of course, you have Missy this time. Now, Missy will be teaching her project over two classes. You'll actually sit in her class twice, okay, because you're going to make three projects with her. She is doing, this sounds awesome to me, she's doing one of her classic block sitters. If you've never seen her block sitters, anyway, you've probably seen me show them where they have like an image on them, and they're like a shelf sitter, like decoration for that. You're going to do a tray and you're also going to do a book stack in her two classes. You'll it's the same class. You'll I mean, it's one class, but you have to attend it two different times because in one class, you'll do all your sanding and painting and all that kind of stuff you have to do. And then in the next class, you'll do all your finishing work. So you'll be able to take everything home finished. Won't that be awesome? Um, so that's Craft Acropolis. Now, tickets went on sale like the first of the year. People ask us to put them out early so they could either start saving up for them or go ahead and grab the tickets. So that so there are spots left, but the whole event is not still available. So if you're wanting to get in on it, now's the time. Go grab your tickets. It is in Clanton, Alabama. So we're in central Alabama and it will be Mar uh, Hold on. I got to get all my dates, my new dates again. It'll be June 25th through the 28th and it's in person. OK, so we're excited about it. And you can read all about it on MayMayEvents.com. I bet Tamith has already linked it for us once or twice. Um, and I'm just going to tell y'all, we're excited. I'm excited because I'm doing something I've never done before. I'm challenging myself to teach you something I've never done before. I've done them individually, but I've never given myself the parameter of, I don't want to have anything left. This is different. I don't want to have anything left. I I'm like looking at Shannon because I'm terrified, but I think it's going to be great. Um, we do have dates for the fall online classes. You'll want to save the dates of August 21st to the 23rd for online Acropolis. I don't know what it's going to be. You know, the spring one was Scrap Acropolis, but I don't know what. We, we aren't. That'll there probably yet. be Holidayopolis. Yeah. I don't know. Because we want to do something holiday in August because we'll be coming up on it. Yeah. I don't know. We haven't named it yet. Know. We'll think of it. We didn't use Pajamaopolis like we said we were going to, so we could do that. Um, the other thing I got to tell you about is Open House. If you're coming to Open House, it's April 19th and 20th here in our store. Friday from 9 to 4, Saturday from 10 to 2. And here's what you can know. You'll have us, obviously. You'll have demos throughout the store. You'll have snacks and things like that. And you're going to have Mr. Jim, the Clack Shack, J&D Produce. And I've got one other possibly coming. Okay? So you don't want to miss that. <sighs> can I show you all some stuff that came in this week while we were gone? I know you all been missing, missing seeing what we got. First off, I'm very excited about this. Have you all seen this? So this is by We Are, and it's a circle cutter. Now, if you're not somebody who has dies, if you don't have a um, cutting machine or any of that kind of stuff, this can do it for you. What you do, I'm not going to demo it because our time's running short. 
what you do is this lid opens like this, okay? You put your cardstock in, you use these little blades. There's two blades in here, okay? You put it on the circle, the size you want to cut, all the way up to eight inch circles, you guys, all the way up to eight inches. And then you just drive this in a circle and it cuts your circle. So cool. I will be doing a demo and I will be doing like a first look on it, but it's really neat. And let me show you again, two blades, one here and one here. And you can go from one inch, this is the one inch part, all the way up to eight inches. And you'll hear the ball bearings. Hear the ball bearings I hear in there? It does remind me of a spiral graph, which is probably why I was like, put that in the cart. But I love it. You put the blade in, you put the paper in. It's got these teeth that lock the paper down, and then you run it around. And a colossal. Thank you for knowing what a colossal is. I bet, I bet not many of us know. But I love having something for circles. Like, not everybody has electronic cutting machines and all that. And circles are kind of the hard one for us. So this is a great one because y'all, we can do big old snowmen. Think about that. Eight inch circles. We can do any, think of the tacos we can make, cut out the little taco shape and then do little tacos. Come on. That'd be awesome. That'd it's be funny. awesome. It's is this back in stock? You go to tacos. What did you do? When, I, when you think of a circle, you don't think of a tortilla. That's what I think of. What do you think of? Think of the manhole covers you can make. <laughs> And then step on. And step on. This is back in stock. This is the scoreboard from We Are. I use this one all the time. Y'all know it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Um, oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at these. Look at this. Is this back in stock? Did we have this? We did. We had this already, right? Or did I just find? I don't remember. I do know. I think Mr. Jim has a catalog. He just has his. Um, he does have an online store. The website. How do you, there it goes. Look, it's a little locket with a little um, cover on the front of it that you can put all kinds of goodies in. Can you see this hanging off of a folio or any little thing like that that you want to hang a little locket off of? Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So that's available. This is back in stock. My favorite chunky twine. Look at this red and red, white, and black and white. I love this stuff so much. We use this. I have a project a coming lot. up. I have a project coming up that you'll like with that. Um, oh my goodness, look at this from Dress My Craft. So this is called the three-in-one angle punch. This is cool, you guys. Look, you get this angle, this angle, and this. Y'all, let's cut it. Let's cut it. This is cool to have three angles in one punch. Love that. Because, you know, I have the other one, and I just have the two angles. Well, let's look at this one. Grab a scrappy. Here we go. Let's check this out. So I'm going to put this in here and punch. So you get, oh my goodness, look, you get that. That was easy. Yeah, it was. And then you go to this side, you get that. Oops. Mm -hmm. And then if we go to the other side, look at that. Uh... Look, you can make a tag so fast. Look at that. Done and done. So you get all three sizes. And what I love is you can see where it's going. Look at that. You can look underneath it. That's so cool. So that is in stock. I'm keeping this. I mean, obviously I opened it. That's mine. I love it. Then we got um, coloristas are back in stock. Was there a new colorway in this? Um, Have we always had, we've always had botanic. No, these are the watercolor. That's right. Watercolor here, alcohol here. Okay, these are alcohol markers. The art markers are alcohol, and this is the watercolor. You guys, these are $9.99. I can't even get over the price of these markers. If you buy them and you use them, you won't get over it either. It's crazy insane, the quality of these markers. Crazy insane. We also got more of the metallic paint markers in. Why does this one keep following me around? I swear I have pulled it off of this desk five times. It keeps showing up. What was it? It's the little corner that I punched. Oh. Um, but essential metallics. This is back in stock. Um, titles and phrases for the Winnie the Pooh set is back in stock. If y'all have been using the Winnie the Pooh set, the cinch glue has shown up. This was is not back in stock. We just got it. So this is the glue. So you can make all your books with this with the thermal cinch, which I can't wait to play with. And I'm going to as soon as we have enough in stock for me to play with this one day. Uh, this 3D embossing folder, we saw this used in person at Creativation. It's got the bees on it. It's adorable. That's the bees impressive. and the honeycomb. It is so cute. Love that one. Yay, Tickle. 
And then this one is called Columns. Look how pretty this is. Y'all know I can't get enough embossing folders. By the way, I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek. Look, there's another one. Where does it come from? I'll give y'all a sneak peek. The club this month, we're going to be talking a lot of embossing because I think it'll be cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at these, you guys. Oh, wait. Since we're talking embossing. So we saw this at the show for the first time, and we freaked out about it. Look at this. This is Simon's new embossing folder with spellbinders. Look at that woven. And I want you to see that it's got the texture in it. Look at that. So I love this. Y'all know the basket that Shannon made in the club? This would be perfect for that. Plus, it's big. It's the six by eight. It's big. All right, look at these. Fell in love. Look, antique frames. So this is a three-piece die with those antique frames. This is three pieces with doilies. Can't y'all see using these on cards? It this does is, look like cake icing. It does. There's the ovals. And then the last one is the squares. Love these. I can see these used in folios as frames, photo frames for pictures, you know, especially like this one. And you put the square in and put what size photo they should put in there. I can be, see those being used like I used um, postage stamp. This one too. Yeah. Can't you see using that like, you know, yes. put this in there, put place photo here, and then boom, you have a place for it. That would be so cool. That would I love be that. So cool. Okay. Back in stock. You guys love the beads. I do too. These are the, um, this is the whole alphabet. Yeah. This is the whole alphabet. Because, you know, we do have just vowels too. This is the whole alphabet super value pack. And these are the big ones that have the bigger hole. So they're not the little ones. They're perfect for names or titles or anything like that. Then I picked this up just because I wanted it. It is not new. It's been around, but I've never had it and I wanted it. This is the Peel Apart Rubber Background Stamp Plaid Builder from Simon Hurley. These guys come apart. These strips come apart so you can stamp them in different directions. Better yet, you put your page down and then if you do something like this, like with the stamp wheel. Think about that. Put your page down and then move your use this to move your line around oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness Maybe gonna excited play. about this one i am excited to play with that all right and then this was this is not the last thing i'm gonna show that last because that was really for brenda we bought this for brenda but you keep brenda happy that's just what you do okay this guy is the corner notch punch what this one does is he makes corner notches so you can make envelopes with anything would you say it's mine i would say it's mine uh, on the um, blue press, as soon as they are available for us to order, we will have them back. I'm not good at this. Let me get some paper, please. One moment. Oh, good. Oh, it's not a square. I need to make a square. Let's Sorry, make it a square. What do we got here? We got... Let's just make it square. That sounded like the dinner bell. What I heard. They pop in my glass. <laughs> it's dinner. Okay. How does this work? I have not used it. All right. There's a corner rounder on this side. Let me read what this is. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say I'd have to measure the center. I do not have it measured here. I'm going to eyeball it. I want to show y'all what punch y'all get. I would pick the thickest paper. Oh, look. You guys, look at that. Y'all recognize that? So if you go to the corner of where you just punched that, you can make like a file folder. Oh, you could. You, I'll show that in a second. Or you don't have to necessarily go to the corner. But I did not measure that, but you can see how that would turn into an envelope, right? I'll come back and do it. Then if you come right here, Use this. Let's see what the corner rounder looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all recognize it. Y'all know what that is. So what Shannon was saying Do it again. is if you did this, let's see how far I need to go. Probably here. Oh, I can look. I was on it. Here. And then we come here. You can really make it any size you want. Wow. Then you come here. 
We have a file folder to have. Well, and you pull your blade out. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Pretty easy right there. Nobody puts May May in the corner. And nobody does. I never used that till that moment. I love that. That's awesome. So I would score this in the real world, especially since I think I picked up some alabaster out of my scrap and it was, it was pretty thick. Look at that quick little envelope. The envelope and you can make please. it any size you want. Look at that. And you could do it the right way where you take this in and do this and do this and do this. There we go. You made like an actual envelope. Look at that. I love that. <laughs> Those will sell out. Those will be, everybody's going to want these. I'm sorry. It's the truth. This is a good one. Because you can also make the, um, you can make this with it too. And we use this stuff a lot. Can you imagine making a little recipe file? So, and the best part is you can make it whatever length you want it for whatever word you're putting on it. That's really good. They didn't even know that. They didn't even know. We just did that for them. No, they, they probably they didn't. They asked me ahead of time. They did. They said, yeah. I need a tab punch, please. They asked me. Okay. Last thing, new product I want to show you is this. It's not a new product. It's new to Mamey Made It. Here's what's happened. Brenda has started making clothing. She's gluing it together, not sewing it. No. She's doing her vintage linen and lace onto like denim because it's real big right now. So I was like, you need some Fabri-Tac. And she's like, I never heard of Fabri-Tac. And I said, well, I'll get you some. So that's what we did. So we have the Fabri-Tac. And most of you guys know, some some people use this in paper crafting. I don't. It's a little strong for me for paper crafting, especially the scent. But it is permanent on fabric. Okay. And this one is the stretch version. I thought she would like this because some of the stuff she's putting needs some give to it. So I got these for Brenda, but they're also in store for you guys as well because it's good stuff. I used to, you know, I used to use this on. And I'm going to do this on my sewing channel. I used to make purses back in the day when you would put that fur around the top of the purses. Y'all remember. And this is what I put it on with because it was flexible and I loved using it for that. So if you need some Fabri-Tac, we have it in store. And Brenda's going to be excited because her clothes are so cute. If you saw them at Creativation, her jeans are really cute that she's making. There was one other thing we had to do. What is it? What was it? Did I have one more thing on my list today? Was that it? Did we do it all? I think we did it all. Good job. I think we did it. All right, you guys. We did it. We're back. We are back at it. We'll be back Thursday night. Hey, be praying for everybody going through this weather. It looks like it's a pretty big section of the country. And I know there's been a lot of weather happening while we were away. But, um, yeah, Fabri-Tac has been around. That's what I was saying. It's not a new product. It's just new to my store. Fabri-Tac, I think I was sewing in. When was I sewing from home? 2000. It was before YouTube. Back in the old days. We've been doing this 10 years. And that's what I was using way back then. Um, so as always, Vinny is going to pray for us as we head out. And I do ask that you guys keep us in your prayers tomorrow as we're traveling. We'll be headed down to Mobile and Vinny will be speaking and pray for him for that. That's that's never going to be easy for anybody. Um, it's not going to be easy for any of our family, but Vinny's going to have to. He has a, he has a big... Um, challenge on his shoulders that's what you have is a challenge but i think he'll do a great job so you ready to close this out in prayer i can all right let's pray guys hey god thanks for this day i thank you god that even in our darkest moments you're still god you're still in charge you're still in control and you still love us god help us to to uh just rest in that to just lean on the peace that you alone can give and comfort us. Lord, I, I thank you for waning. I thank you for what he meant to me and what he's meant to this family and what he's meant to all of our subscribers. I thank you for the joy and the laughter and the love that he brought. And God, I know that only comes from you. I pray God that as he's rejoicing with you today, uh, that you'll just remind him we love him and we miss him. God, I thank you for every person watching today. God, the sacrifice that they make to hang out with us out of their days is so special to us. I thank you and praise you for them. I pray, God, your blessings on them. Whatever they touch, God, I pray that your blessings would be on it. I ask, God, that uh, you be with those that are watching today and those that will be listening later. Uh, God, that you would just be near and dear to them. You would comfort them during their struggles, that you would love on them in the good times and the bad. 
I pray, God, you'd give a peace to each and every one to know, God, you're in charge again. Lord, help us to just um, always be mindful of what you did for us with your son Jesus on the cross. And I thank you for him and what it means. It allows me, it allows every person listening, every person watching to have an eternal destination that's with you because of the sacrifice that he made out of obedience to you. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. I praise you. I give him honor and you honor and glory today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to say real quick before we go, thank you guys so much for all you did to support um, Wayne and Janine during that time. You guys remember the fundraiser that you did. You did an amazing job, amazing things for them. And that financial support meant more than you know, more than you know. Wayne was the, the breadwinner in the family. And so that that did more than you know. And she's talked about it even this last week, how wonderful y'all have been and how much he loved you. And every time I talked to him, your subscribers, your subscribers, every time we talked, he would say, I feel their prayers. That's how he would say it. He wouldn't say, I feel their prayers. He would say, I feel their prayers. And so you helped get him through some really tough days. And um, I'm grateful for you and what you mean to us and even what you mean to our extended family. You are amazing people and we love you Amen. very much. All right. Until next time. Bye. Bye now.